Hello everybody, it's Amar Jim here, and today's video is going to be about some art that I've done over the year, so I hope you enjoy it. It's going to be mostly fantasy because that's what I like to draw, and um, what was I going to say? Oh, all of it, my original artwork, none of it copied in any kind of way, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. Here you go. This first one is just a, t um, a lady. She's trying to tame a tiger and um, yeah, a little butterfly on its nose. It's really pretty. She has really pretty eyes and Nice rose. And this next one. This one was supposed to be a dragon, but I actually messed up a little bit, so I decided to turn it into a unicorn. And I really like the way that it turned out because it's really unique. And, um, I love all the markings that are here, that I've done. And then there's a hidden message. If you look, it says, I love you. This is done in all pin. The next one here. This is actually really awesome because I haven't seen a lot of drawings or pictures out there with mermaids and reading and I love to read personally so I decided that I would make a mermaid lying on a beach reading her favorite book and um, this one's done all in colored pencil so I really like that one. This next one is also a mermaid. She's my shy mermaid. Um, every time I draw something, I never really know how it's going to turn out. So in the end, I kind of either just stop or I up for a little while and I keep going and um, this is one of those ones that I actually really like it the way that it is so I'm not going to change anything about it. This one's done in water, I mean not watercolor but colored pencil. This one right here, I originally had it done in just pencil and I left it alone for a couple months and finally decided that I was going to go ahead and do some colors and uh, just kind of turned out this way. My favorite thing is the way that her tail and her fin turned out. It's really pretty. This one is my Hawaiian mermaid princess and she is gorgeous. She's sitting by a waterfall and there are some nice flowers. I, I love her fin too. This one also is done in watercolor. Most of my drawings take about an hour to do. Um, if they're really, really, really detailed, they take a couple hours and sometimes they'll take a couple days for me to finish. Just kind of depends. And this one, this one is my autumn unicorn. It's got vines and I really love the color work on the eye there and the leaves. Really pretty. I 
Okay, so this right here this is my uh, my new drawing sketch pad that I got recently. So there's not a whole lot in this. I actually have a big box. It's full of all my drawings. So there's quite a bit in there. Um, this one, though, uh, this one doesn't have too many in it, so I'm just gonna kind of show you my favorite ones. So. This is my charcoal mermaid. I kind of didn't know what I was gonna do with her, and um, I still really don't. I'm not finished with this one, but I thought I'd show you anyways because my first ones I was drawing did not look very good. Um, I'm not used to using charcoal, so eh, they kind of just don't turn out as nice as I like them to. But So there's this one, but the next one you're about to see is the one that I drew after this one, and it turned out a lot better. Just really pretty girl with a sun hat on, and she has a really nice cross necklace. I like the shading that I've done here. I just think that she's really pretty. And here's another mermaid. This one's also done in charcoal, but as you can see, I've added a little tint of color to her lips and her eyes in the sunset. I really like this one a lot. It's one of my favorites. And this one here. It's not done with the sketch paper, but I put it in here to kind of keep it safe because I used a lot of charcoal in this one as well and I used color pencils so she's kind of just laying on the beach here and uh, there's some seaweed and some pebbles and uh, a letter in a bottle I really like the way that her tail came out because it looks kind of like, I don't know, snake skin. And her fin is kind of hard to see what colors it is, but it's turquoise and then there's like a purplish color and it fades to pink and like a bluish green. One more I think I'm going to show you, and this is it. So this one right here I originally sketched out on a small little paper, and it uh, <clears throat> it has a little bit of you know markings where I kind of wanted the face to be, and I never finished it. This one's bigger, a lot bigger, and it's done in charcoal. So she's kind of just by the beach shore here, but I'm not finished with it, so I don't really know what's going to be in the background. And, um, yeah, I just kind of like her. She has like a sassy face. So sassy. So, I, uh, I hope that you guys enjoyed those, and if you did and you want to see more, go ahead and leave me a comment, and I'll know to show more of my artwork to you. Like I said, most of it's fantasy, but I still think it's fun. Alright, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.